I bought the Tyneco Floor One S5 Steam on sale for $300. I had some questions that I would have liked answers before buying it, so let's answer those questions in this video. I have been using the floor cleaner for a couple of months now, so let's check it out. I need a floor cleaner that can help reduce the time I spend cleaning and even leave the floors cleaner than the old mop and bucket can provide. The mop and bucket method doesn't leave the floors quite as clean as I'd like and is quite the hassle to fill up the bucket with water and cleaning solution. That method also usually leads to a lot of wasted water and cleaning solution. I would like to be able to clean all the floors in my apartment without having to stop to wait for an extended period of time to charge a battery or for any other reason. Although, much of my cleaning wouldn't include cleaning all the floors at once, it would be nice if the machine wasn't a big hassle to clean so that I don't end up having to put off cleaning it. Also, my neighbors and I would sure appreciate if the floor cleaner wasn't super loud and or requiring hearing protection for extended use. 80 decibels is usually considered the limit for this requirement. I need the cleaner to have no issue with handling a mess coming from the kitchen, living room, and the bathrooms. The machine will be stored in my laundry room, so it can't take up too much space when stored. Finally, I don't want to worry about which circuit I plug into in my apartment. Therefore, the machine should be able to plug into any circuit in a residential space. This would mean that the power draw limit would be somewhere around 10 amps at 120 volts. That is 1200 watts, although 15 amps may end up being acceptable. Now let's take a close look at the S5 Steam. I think the Tyneco looks great. If you're like me and are a fan of styling sometimes referred to as Stormtrooper, then you will likely agree. The small blue detailing in places is great. Blue is probably my favorite color. And somehow the yellow and red warning stickers actually help add somewhat of an industrial look that I don't mind. Of course this is just my opinion, but looks are really your job to determine if you like them or not. So let's move on to some functionality. Something I was largely interested in was the gap between the roller and the frame. Tyneco pushes the higher price steam model largely by the feature of the roller getting so close to the edge of the frame, allowing for a minimal cleaning gap between the cleaning roller and your wall. On the S5 steam, I measure about an inch, 25 millimeters, from the front of the roller to the front of the machine, and 0.84 inches, 22 millimeters, from one side of the roller to the side of the machine, and 1.15 inches, 29 millimeters, on the other side of the roller. I'll let you know how I feel about this in the next chapter of the video. One of the selling features of the S5 Steam are the LED indicators on the body of the machine intending to communicate to the user how dirty the floor is. It looks to me like this functionality may entirely be based upon an optical sensor in the dirty water return piping. It looks as though this optical sensor shines light through the water coming from the floor and the roller and measures how much light is picked up on the other side of the water. The dirtiness of the water would be determined based on how much of the light did or did not make it through the water. This makes intuitive sense when compared to how humans may determine how dirty water is. We would look at the water and if there is any discoloration or solids, then we would call the water dirty. However, this restricts the S5 steam to only using water as a cleaning agent. If a person were to use a cleaner with any color to it, like Pine Sol, the sensor would think all the water passing through it is dirty even if the water is only mixed with a small amount of Pine Sol. I tested this with pine saw on the floor that the machine had indicated was clean, and I was able to confirm this assumption. Although, using only water is not a bad thing if you can sanitize the surface just with water. It might even be better. Like it says in the name, the S5 Steam creates steam to aid in removal of messes on the floor and has the secondary function of sanitizing the floor. After pushing the steam button on the handle, the cleaner takes a short period of time to heat up before letting out steam. There really isn't much more to say, it works as advertised. Although, it may be worth stating that the heat from the steam may not kill bacteria and viruses instantaneously, so take your time when sanitizing the floors. Overall though, the surface left behind by the machine is extremely clean. I can walk around in my apartment in white socks all day, and at the end of the day, the bottom of my socks are still white. You could probably literally eat off the floors. I may or may not have eaten food that has fallen onto the floor after cleaning. Remember, you should always do at least two passes over every spot while cleaning. The forward pass is like the initial wetting, while the backward pass mops up the water that it had left behind. 
I was a bit worried when looking for a floor cleaner that it would pull too much power for a standard apartment electrical circuit, especially when steam is involved. But the engineers at Tyneco seem to have thought of that, as I have had no issues. The S5 steam is rated to pull up to 1440 watts, which is a lot, but it won't pull that amount of power all the time. However, a circuit on a 10 amp breaker will not be able to handle that load, especially when other heavy power draw devices are plugged into it. A circuit rated for at least 15 amps would be best. However, that 1440 watts may only occur during the heating up of the heating element that creates the steam, so having low draw devices plugged into the same circuit may be fine. Breakers in your home are designed to break after a period of time of pulling greater than the rated amps. Short bursts of amp draw over the rating may be okay. Speaking of capacity, learning that the volume of the clean and dirty water tanks are just 0.75 liters, I was a little concerned that I would have to refill and empty the water tanks frequently. In my experience with the S5 steam though, I can thoroughly clean 700 square feet with the steam mode on with about 4 tanks of water and emptying the dirty water tank about 2 times. That's actually quite impressive compared to the amount of water and cleaning solution I used to use with the standard mop and bucket especially considering the S5 steam is getting the floor cleaner. In an ideal world, I wouldn't have to refill and empty the tanks at all, just at the beginning and the end, but this is acceptable. Like we talked about in the previous chapter of this video, the floor cleanliness sensor is not the most reliable indicator of how dirty the floor is. You can use it as a guideline for when you enter an area that is dirty, but you're likely going to have to use your own sense of how clean the floor is, especially after multiple passes. There likely could be some debris stuck on the surface of the sensor, or the roller could still be slightly dirty, and it will cause the floor sensor to think the floor itself is still dirty. Back to the roller. I found the roller spacing to be a non-issue. I don't usually step that close to the walls, and if I end up with a rare spill that extends into the mist area, it wouldn't be much of a hassle to clean that little bit by hand. Floors really mostly get dirty in walking areas, and I don't know about you, but I don't usually walk with my body pushed against the walls and the cabinets. Maybe you really need that edge cleaning capability, but I just see it as a nice to have. I'm just not sure if it's a $200 nice to have. The Tyneco Floor 1 S5 is a great floor cleaner, and may just be worth the $450 price tag. I was lucky to get mine on sale for $300, which is a no-brainer compared to the price of its competitors. It leaves my floors as clean as I could possibly want them while having plenty of runtime due to being plugged into an outlet and not being too terribly loud at a measured 75 decibels in the worst case scenario. My requirements, objectives, and interfaces have been met. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. This isn't my day job, so I just post videos whenever I can. Thanks for sticking around.